ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു അൾട്രോ പിക്സൽസ് ഇഫ് യു ലൈക്ക് അവർ ചാനൽ പ്ലീസ് ഡോൺ ഫോർ ഗെറ്റ് യു ലൈക്ക് ഷെയർ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ആൻഡ് പ്രസ് ദി ബെല്ലൈക്കൺ ഫോർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഫർദർ നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻസ് ഹൈ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ഫോർട്ടി ഇഞ്ച് സാംസങ് എൽ ഇ ഡി ടി വി ഹിയർ ദിസ് ടി വി കംസ് ടു മീ ഫോർ റിപ്പയർ ഫോർ ദി കംപ്ലൈൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് റീസ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഇഷ്യൂ സി ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് നോ ദി ടി വി സ്റ്റേൺ ഡോൺ After working 10 to 20 seconds the TV starts restarting automatically See friends now the TV will restart automatically See friends this is the fault The TV starts restart continuously Here while checking I found that the main IC of the motherboard is damaged maybe because of any lightning while checking the temperature I understand that the problem is with the main IC the main IC is overheating and it is a reason for restart issue so here we are going to install the u11 universal motherboard see friends here we are going to install this new lcd led universal u11 v56 motherboard see friends here you can see the supply details it's a 40 inch full hd panel See friends now we changed the LVDS cable Here you can see it's a full hd panel with supply in right side this panel works on 12 volt input vcc also here you can see the supply details in the power supply board the first pin is the 13 volt input vcc that we connected in socket here you can see the green wire is the 13 volt input vcc the white wire is the fourth pin which is the bl lon signal and the black wire is the ground connection here we also connected the speaker wires sensor wires everything in socket see friends these are the ir connection you can see the ir connections are written in the sensor board here we connected this universal motherboard in a way that we can use the original motherboard in future by keeping the original sockets see friends here we installed this universal board in a way that in future we can use the original motherboard if we want that's why we keep all the original sockets in a way that we can use it in future so here you can see we keep all the original sockets and we extended a wire from it and created another socket for universal board that can be removed easily see friends finally here we screwed the universal board in a box in the back of the tv also here we covered the holes of the previous board using a double sided tape see friends now all sockets are connected and you can see the picture after fitting we need to correct the lvds mapping by entering to service mode 
see friends now this installation is complete see friends finally now we put all screws back to TV and here you can see the result now we need to enter the service mode the service mode code is input 208 see friends now we enter into service mode in service mode go to panel adjust in panel adjust correct the LVDS mapping see friends now the LVDS mapping is adjusted and here you can see the picture so now the TV is repaired successfully so that's it hope you like this video see you in another video with another interesting topics if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications thanks for watching